talk today about the uh, search command and in a little bit roundabout way we're going to talk about the where command. Uh, one of the things to remember that makes this command much easier to understand is that as a general rule we always start out our Splunk with an index equals uh, an index, we call it the index here and we call out the source type equals and we write a query there. What we don't recognize, don't always realize is that Splunk actually puts the search command before that. And you don't, you don't actually write the search in there, but it does it for you. That's why when you see things like pipe, that's actually telling you it's not going to use the search command. It's going to do something else. Um, just a little tidbit there. But search is implicitly applied to any of your queries. So you can write a search command uh, later on in your query doing almost identical to the way you write your first line before you hit, a, uh, hit your pipe. So let's just see that here. I'm going to do something like this and I'm going to go grab everything from lame training. And I'm going to do a stats count by source IP, dust IP, and then I want to do a search source I uh, count equals two. If I do something like that, I can get back all the results where the source IP and the destination appear equal to two. Uh, you can actually interchange where can go in here and do the exact same thing. Uh, where actually likes does really well with greater than less than as well. You can do we had no results there, but what if we go greater than one? And we get back results. So you can basically, as a general rule, where and search are interchangeable. There are a few little caveats, but as a general rule, if you can use search, you can use where. Now, where this doesn't work out for us, another example of using the uh, search command is input lookup, and I'm going to do, um, actually, let's just do this index equals, uh, we'll do a metadata, equals lame, train, lame training, don't want to write that in uppercase, and type equals source types. I get back my results. I can do something like this, search, source type. I got my little fields here, source type equals lame con. And so I can actually do input lookups, I can do metadata commands, I can do all these other pipe commands, and then I can do a search later. Um, if you use an input lookup, you need to use search. It will not understand where. Uh, so if you're wanting to search for a particular piece of a uh, lookup file, you got to use the search. Uh, another example of this is index equals lame training source type equals correlate con, we can actually make a sub search. And in that case, we go search index equals lame training source type equals uh, lame DNS. I want to get back every machine Uh, that made a DNS query. So I'm going to go grab lame training, source DNS. I'm going to get back everything by its source IP, remove the fields count, because when you do sub searches, it will do, it'll search here for every field that you have left. And I, there's no count field, so it won't come back with any results. So I need to remove the count field. If I run this, I will find every Coralite con log that had a lame DNS. Now, in this case, I didn't actually have one. Let's see if I'm going to give another shot. Dest IP. And I didn't. So that's unfortunate that it didn't work in my uh, demo here. But the principle is that's how you'll make it work. It, and it goes in between the quotes. And that will give you a result. So just to see this in action, this will be kind of redundant. But I'm going to go source type equals lame DNS, stats count by source I, source I type. So I'm getting back the source type lame DNS. Uh, 
This is a, a pointless query, but it gives the example here. So I'm getting back the source type of LimeDNS. I'm getting a count by, so, and I could actually just, yeah, so I'm going to stats count, and so I'm getting back one source type. I'm going to remove the count there, and now I'm going to not call out the source type, and this will search the lame training for anything that is in lame DNS. Highly inefficient. Why you would do that makes no sense. I just want to show that the query does return values. Um, it was just unfortunate that my training data at that time did not. All right, so we have explained that we can do uh, searches at the end of our query of any old stuff we do. We can like search uh, dest equals 10.0.0.7 dest, yep, and that should come back with that very first result there. And I can get back those results. I can put them at the front of an input lookup or a metadata search, or I can do it with a, a sub search. Um, you can use where. Uh, where is primarily best used for greater than and less than uh, evaluation. Otherwise, I just use search. Um, that's the general rule. There are some exceptions to that, but just use search. Uh, and you'll be happy. I hope this helps. If you like this uh, information, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I hope this helps you on your journey from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.